A sergeant taken into custody over the charges of aggressive behavior was produced before the Matagama Magistrates Court and will be remanded until the 9th of October. On the 30th of September, a tipper truck was stopped and inspected by the sergeant. He then seized the truck under the charge of transporting sand illegally. However, the tipper was released by the OIC the following day. The sergeant, expressing his opposition, staged a protest yesterday, carrying his firearm. After nearly two hours, the sergeant was taken into custody by the police and the special task force. Though the weapon was fired, no harm was inflicted. The sergeant who was produced before courts has now been remanded and has been suspended from duty. There is no legal issue. The tipper that transported sand illegally has been released in a proper manner. I do not know why the police officer behaved in such a manner. I believe an investigation on this matter is underway. The police officer also commented regarding the incident that took place yesterday. The lawyer presenting the sergeant at court stated that the police had dealt with this issue in an illegal manner. Even if conditions of the license were not met, the lorry cannot be released according to the law. Family members of the sergeant visited the Kalutara ASP office with the hope of some relief. He has served for nearly 25 years. Now they identify him to be mentally unstable. To our knowledge, he does not have such mental disorders. A vehicle transporting sand was taken over by the police and the case was to be heard in courts. Instead, the vehicle was released and the driver had scolded my son in a very harsh manner. The only thing my son said was to show him the yellow paper upon submission to court. He had then stated that he will hand over the gun and release himself. They did not keep to their promise. The sand was transferred to another empty lorry which was sent to the police station. The officer had gone to the town and behaved in an unruly manner. He has also opened fire towards the sky. We will have to take action. We don't issue permits. On the 28th of September, the lorry had a permit when the arrest was made. At 4 in the morning, the officer who issues the permit can decide on the time. There is no problem in that. The arrest was made at 4 in the morning on the 28th. The permit was available at the time of the arrest. <coughs> A police officer cannot operate and be on duty under any pressure at any circumstances. <coughs> it is wrong and that's exactly why he was arrested. The officer in question is someone who usually doesn't turn up for work. When he doesn't come to work, he gets no pay leave. He had taken 15 no pay leaves. With the situation of the police sergeant attached to the Thebuwana police, there are allegations levelled against several high-ranking officials, including the Inspector General of Police. The DIG of the Terrorist Investigation Division, Nalaka de Silva, is currently under interrogation, and there are allegations that a proper investigation was not conducted against the former head of police financial crimes investigation division, DIG Ravi Vaidalankara, over the misappropriation of 22 million rupees. Muhammad. How can an investigation be done under an IGP who is accused? This is regarding an officer. This behaviour was because of the implementation of law by the police. The officer was suspended from work. They commenced investigations after he was suspended. But the DIG who planned to assassinate the head of state and the former defence secretary was not suspended from work. Everything is being done while the IGP who is accused is still holding his position. The Constitutional Council will have to do that. However, the Constitutional Council is inactive now. The Prime Minister, Speaker of Parliament and the Leader of the Opposition are yet to appoint three parliamentarians and three civil representatives to the Constitutional Council. A minor party representative also has not been named to the Constitutional Council. No,
The president can only appoint one person to the Constitutional Council. He appointed me as soon as Champik Ranavakar's tenure was over. Now the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition will have to appoint the West. Are the appointments to the Constitutional Council being delayed purposely?